Okay, so we are here at the camp to, to craft all the jute fibers into drift nets. Not sure if I need something more than jute fibers, but I guess we'll find out. Drift net, make a whole lot. Hey, so you just need jute fibers. I think there's two, yeah. Two jute fibers per drift net, and two, uh, one drift net holds 10 fish. So I'm crafting 50, but I don't know how many I'll use, but I guess we'll see. All right, so that's 400 mermaid tiers. We've got enough. Now let's head back to the shoop. Nom. So I got my 400 mermaid tiers, gimme. Yeah. So now this thing, check, you can charge this with a uh, puffer fish, I believe. Wait, how do you charge this thing? What? Give me puffer fish. So charge up one puffer fish equals one charge. What does that even say? Channel. Oh, restoring some of your puff. Okay, let me re-record that. <laughs> so what, it just gives you oxygen? That's, that's not amazing. <laughs> I thought it was going to do something to like buff your fishing or something, I don't know. So you're going to charge this mermaid. The Merfolk Trident with Puffer Fish, and it gives you, uh, when you use channel, look, look at my oxygen level, man, look at it. Actually, I'll wait for it to go down a bit. Good, because you keep charged when you go to the surface where you lose the Puffer Fish. Ah. So we right click, channel, nom. 50, that's meant to be 15% oxygen, but I lost 1% oxygen as I uh, channeled. So yeah, so you can store Puffer Fish in that, which is sort of nice, but I am using it for the drift net fishing, and I need to go grab the nets because I forgot them. So we'll, we'll harvest it, man, harvest it. What do we get? Harvest the fish and destroy the net. Yep. Oh, cool. Okay, so I got I got some some good stuff. Raw manta rays and sea turtles, man. Oh, we'll put that in the bank, man. Oh wait, inventory. Wait, what? Oh, dude, we can't be doing doing 28 drift nets in inventory. All right, that was a trial run. We'll go back to the bank and reset the timer. So now that I know what I'm doing, trial run, man. Trial run. I'll drop all this. I don't even know if you need to poke them the right direction or just poke them. Like, do I poke these ones because they're closer? Or about this one? I'll poke this guy. Poke. Poke. I'm poking them so hard, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't need to be sitting in the right direction. You just poke them. Poke. E. Poke. Wait for them to be close and then poke them. Poke. Poke. You may as well spe be spear fishing, man. You're just poking them into the net. E. Oh, that was a garbage. That was garbage compared to the other one. The other one I got like a manta ray and sea turtles, man. Whatever. Okie dokie. So I didn't. I wasn't quite sure how many drift nets I would use in one hour. So I made 100. Bear in mind this costs 200 jute fibers and they're 1.3k each. So that's like 260k to 280k ish for all these drift nets so bear that in mind when i uh, get all the fish and then i'll uh, take away the cost yes right so i probably need like 10 of these per trip probably not even that it's a basic strategy for the for car so basic strategy for this is um last time i took like 20 drift nets and that didn't really work out because all the fish fill up my inventory too fast so i'm gonna bring like 10 and i might need less per trip but uh i guess we'll see and i'll use this bank right here because it's like you you, you go down this boat you dive on the boat Boom, boom, underwater. And the drift nets are like right there. So start the tire, boop. Put the puff fish in your trident. Dude, I'd have to take it off so it's effort. Unless I could do it from right clicking. Because like there's a little delay when you take your trident off and when you put it back on. Sorry, hit the mic. Mic is like right above my keyboard like the good old days. Back when I had a, a blue snowball. <laughs> It was like right in front of my mouth because it was like a pretty garbage mic So you had to have it really close and it's right above my keyboard so I'd always hit it Harvest all the fish. Oh dude look at all these fish man. Oh no, I haven't got enough room. Quick reset the thing to, to be efficient and then we'll run to the bank And so it looks like I'll be doing like five drift nets inventory I guess. I don't know. Take this off so I can swim faster. Yeah. Okay so I just paused the timer real quick to check how much raw fish I had So I have 121 raw sharks, 400 monkfish and 192 anglerfish uh, just uh, so we know. A poking fish, man. Oh, there we go. I got one fossil. That's the first fossil, I'm pretty sure. I was, was thinking that I didn't get fossils from this, but yeah, you can. But that was the first one, so not very good fossils, it seems. Okay, so these fish behavior are really weird. So what it seems to be is if they're in a radius, if you watch, if I poke them all one by one, there's like a delay, and then they all just go straight for the net. Like that one, now this guy will go, and now this guy will go. Oh, now it's full, so you won't be able to. But, like, I think it's like if they're within an X radius, and I think the X radius is like three tiles, then they'll, and they have like a, a straight line of sight to it, so they have to be like, for this net, they would have to be in like this region. Then um, I think they go straight to it if you poke them. But there's a weird little delay. Like, I'll show you with, uh, with this guy. If I poke him, actually, he might be out of range. I'll go over to this other net. Also, I'm dropping the garbage fish, like the shrimp and the uh, sardines. Oh, this one's full as well. So, like, see this fish? If I poke him, then poke this guy. Oh, he went straight in because I poked him earlier. That's a bad example. If I poke this guy, then poke this guy, poke this guy, they'll all go in him, and then him, and now he'll go in. Like that. So it's like they have a weird delay after you poke them, and they'll just go straight for the net. As long as they're somewhat near it. I don't know, that's what I've been uh, observing. Yes.
Uh, what happened? Did, did it delete my fish? Dude, I didn't mean to delete it, dude. No, I think I got rid of my fish. Oops. Didn't even drop on the floor. Oh, d oh, d oh, I thought it was an elite bottle, man. Oh, dude, I got excited. I thought it was an elite bottle. Oh, that's interesting. You can get clue bottles from this as well, which is a, this is a nice bonus. Dude, I thought it was an elite. Elite is like... I thought it was red, man. Whatever. Rip. Oh, the fish, man. Nearly going on overtime. Uh, it's nearly been an hour. It's been an hour. Pause the timer. So this is my last net, but I'll just fill it up because it's really close to being full. 90% full. Yeah, one more shoal. One shoal is 10%. So you we'll fill that and withdraw. And let's go to the bank. It's been one hour. See the XP an hour and see the profits from all the fish and fish. Alrighty then. So let's start with the costs, I guess. Actually, no, let's start with the XP, man. The XP. So in one hour, I've went from 13269 to 13303754. And then Hunter, I went to I went from 13773 to 13. 819. Uh, so let's do some maths and work out the uh, stuff. 45k Hunter XP an hour. Mm, okay. And then the fishing equals 34.6k fishing XP an hour. Okay, so let's work out the efficiency in comparison to other methods. So for the fishing XP, I'm going to compare it to barbarian fishing, not 3 team because this isn't that much effort just normal barbarian fishing and then with hunter i'll compare it to something like chin chompers so barbarian fishing 60k xp now 34.6 divided by 60 times 100 so we've got 57.6 percent efficiency on fishing okay good low level hunter xp though nice okay i'll mention that in the video so let's assume you get 140k xp now at chins then we do they do 45 divided by 140 i can tell this is already not going to be efficient equals 32% efficiency. Actually, that's nearly not even that bad. We've got 90, uh, sorry, we're not. So if we do 57.6 plus 32, we've got 89.6% efficiency. So 89.6% efficiency is actually not that bad. What I mean by 89.6% efficiency is I could have spent this hour doing chins and barbarian fishing, and I would have got 10.4% um, more XP overall. That's what I mean by that. I hope you understand. Um, so it's a bit confusing. But that is not the only factor because red chin chompers are around 800k GP an hour ish. And so, yes, GP an hour. Let's uh, let's test that. So the cost is 200 normal lights. So you just 200 normal lights the cost. And then, of course, the jute fibers for the drift nets. As you can see, I used 45 drift nets, which is 90 jute fibers, which is quick maths. Wait, hold on. How are they 1.3 each? Pretty sure. So 90 jute fibers, they're 1.4k each. So times 1.4. Equals 126k GP, so let me just withdraw 126k GP because that's part of the uh, cost. So cost, 134.2k GP. Wait, was that the only cost? Pretty sure. And then we go in here and we withdraw all the fish that I got. And don't worry, I won't forget the uh, the shark that I got. Or the shark's raw. So I started with 121 um, raw sharks, so we need 46 of those, I think. Unless my math is scuffed. Uh, my math is not scuffed. Seems good. And I got no monkfish and no anglerfish. I thought this because these are like exclusive fish that you need to do something to unlock. So you're not going to get them from drift net fishing. Now, the GP from one hour of drift net fishing. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so, <laughs> I barely broke even because the cost was 134k and I got 146k. <laughs> in the reward dude 13 kgp now <laughs> okay so yeah at lower levels you're not gonna break even because um the fish you get depends on your fishing level like you have more chance to get higher level but if you haven't unlocked shark you won't get shark if you haven't unlocked manta ray you won't get manta ray etc so at lower levels you won't profit but at lower levels hunter sucks because it's really slow but at, so at lo lower levels you can do this and get um, Hunter XP faster than like say orange salamanders or something. So that's a plus if you're a low level, I guess. Oh yeah, and you can get fossils. I got one fossil and I got one clue bottle, which is like nice. The fossil rate should probably be buffed to like five an hour rather than one, because I only got one. Like at low levels, the Hunter is decent and it's 89.6% efficiency. You see the XP is like okay. Like the XP could do with a tiny bit of a buff. So improvements to this that I would like to see is significantly more fish or require one dupe fiber um, per drift net or a combination of the two um, and a tiny little buff to like the fishing XP and or the hunter XP because at the moment it's 89.6% efficiency and it's effort so it's like it's like it's like okay balance but a little bit more XP wouldn't hurt 
Um, but yeah, the GP now just isn't worth it at all. So it either needs to be better GP now or better XP because then the better XP now will justify the no GP now gain. Yes. Uh, yeah, so this is like sort of efficient, but like not really. Pretty garbage GP now, 13k GP now. And it's decent hunter xp for low levels 45k hunter xp an hour 34k fishing xp an hour probably get slightly more because with more practice for the first 10 minutes i wasn't doing it right but after that it's uh, fine and the method is once they're close to the net you just poke them once and they'll go to the net if they're out of range of the net then they won't um go to it after you poke them so you have to wait for them to be in range so uh, yeah and that range for me what i work out is about three tiles but i'm not sure so um uh, yeah so if it was me i'll totally do barbarian fishing and red chin choppers separately rather than this because then you get all the xp faster and you make a lot more from red chins which is uh much nicer so uh yeah that's all i've got got to say about this this piece of content on fossil and uh yeah that's that's it have fun with this it's, it's not that good but yeah <laughs> So now that, as you may or may not know, I am at university, so some things that I recorded, which I'm not sure whether I should use or not, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I recorded a vlog of me doing my laundry. <laughs> it's pretty fun, of course. Laundry. Or at least I try to make it fun. And then on top of that, because it is October, I do want to play some spooky games on Twitch. And uh, and if you can't tune into Twitch, I'll upload them on either this channel, probably not this channel though, I'll probably upload it on my other channel which is in the description. But uh, yeah, I just wanted your guys' opinions on that. So a student vlog IRL of course, doing laundry, maybe other things if that goes well. And uh, the other thing is playing something other than RS, but not on this channel, on a different channel. So yeah, let me know what you want to see in the poll in the description. The straw poll in the description, make sure you vote on that. Or you can let me know in the comments, whatever, whatever is more convenient for you. And uh, yeah, that's uh, all I wanted to say.